What's up guys, my name is Mike of Coed Gaming, and Konami has finally issued an apology to gamers regarding everything that's been going on within the past two months, so we finally have closure as to what's been going on. So what did they tell us in their apology? Absolutely fucking nothing. Am I in the dark here? Am, am I crazy for thinking that Konami really owes gamers more than what they've been giving us? The apology that they gave, th this is what they have to say. Our main platform will be mobiles. Following the pay-as-you-play model of games like Power Pro and Winning Eleven with additional content, our games must move from selling things like items to selling things like features. Is that really what you think, Konami? Do you really think that's where the money's going to be? You think a game like Angry Birds or Candy Crush generates more money than games like Metal Gear Solid, Silent Hill, Suikoden, and Contra? They don't. They just simply don't. I understand that in Japan you have a thriving gambling business, you have all these slot machines and all these different gambling games that you have in Japan. That's one thing. It's one thing to support one aspect of Konami, but why do you feel the need to completely squash everything you have going? After Metal Gear Solid 5, Hideo Kojima is leaving Konami. He's done with you, which is something that he's wanted for a long time, but the problem is now we have nowhere to go from here. Silent Hills was rumored to be picked up by Microsoft to be an Xbox One exclusive, but the very next day Phil Spencer, the head of Xbox, went on Twitter debunking the rumor. Where the hell do we go from here? E3 is in less than two weeks, and right now, we have absolutely nothing to hold on to, nothing to grab. The only thing that we have right now is Metal Gear Solid 5, which admittedly a lot of people are excited for, but for all of us, for all the people who were excited for Silent Hills, we have absolutely nothing. This game's not gonna be salvaged, there's gonna be no spiritual successor, at least not right now. I mean, Konami, is this the legacy that you want to leave behind? I know that I've been talking about Konami for weeks now, but they just won't stop giving me things to talk about. Konami, what are you doing? You are stepping on your legacy, you are stepping on your fans, and most importantly, you're stepping on your freaking employees. Hideo Kojima is so unhappy with how he's being treated at Konami that he's leaving as soon as this game comes out. And from there, what do we have left? We have absolutely nothing. Are you seriously telling me that you're gonna take the stage at E3 and you're gonna just pretend like none of this is happening? You're gonna pretend that PT never existed? You're gonna pretend that Silent Hills never existed? And you're gonna just act like we're supposed to just fold our arms and just be like, well, that's it, it's not coming out. It never was coming out and it's never gonna come out. There is no Silent Hills. Do you really think the internet is that stupid that we forget things like this? You don't dangle something like that in front of us and then pull it away and then ask us to pretend like it was never there. Fans are still bitter over this, as was I. You took what could have been a fantastic horror game, something that was going to put survival horror back on the map, and you, you crumpled it up like a paper ball and you threw it away, and then you expected us to believe that it never existed. Konami, I, I really don't get it. I really, really don't get it. And you know what's really sad? You have done so little to make the fans be hopeful at all that anything could ever come of Silent Hill, not only as a franchise, but Silent Hills as a game, most of the fans, including myself, we've come to grips with the fact that Silent Hills is probably never going to come. It's probably never going to come under you, it's probably never going to be bought by Sony, it's probably never going to be bought by Microsoft, and there's probably going to be no spiritual successor. You know why? Because it is clear that you, you probably sucked all of the life out of Hideo Kojima to ever want to finish this game. Guillermo del Toro, interestingly enough, does want to finish the game, but the problem is, he said he would only do it if if Hideo Kojima was on board, and you've probably sucked all of the spirit out of him, making him not want to do any of this anymore, you've basically ruined him. You've ruined Metal Gear Solid by breaking it up into two games, one of which was $40, and it was like two hours long. Thankfully, it's going to be free for PlayStation Plus owners like myself, so I'm going to actually be able to get it, so you're not getting a freaking dime from me. But on the other hand, 
What is supposed to happen now with the Silent Hill? Metal Gear Solid already has its future. You have said that you're going to keep making Silent Hill games. I'm sorry, you're going to keep making Metal Gear Solid games without Hideo Kojima, and they're probably going to be on freaking mobile. Silent Hill, you really think Silent Hill is going to translate well on mobile? It has to be on either console or PC. The problem is, if Kojima's not involved, you're going to sell the license out to another Western developer, so we're going to have another shitty game like Downpour or Homecoming. At this point, I have lost all hope. I've lost all hope in Konami as a company, and it's sad to say, but I've completely lost hope in Silent Hills. I don't see there ever being a turnaround. Don't get me wrong, I'd love for there to be. E3 is still on the way, and there is still time for something to happen. If I were to pick what would happen, I would love to see a company like Sony buy Silent Hills, and not only that, get Guillermo del Toro, Hideo Kojima, and Norman Reedus all on board so they can finish what they started. The problem is, it's just looking bleaker and bleaker by the day. I don't see this ever happening, and I feel like this is going to be one of those games where it's just locked in a development hell for so many years, but unlike Duke Nukem Forever, this game is never going to see the light of day, and that sucks. This could have been great, but thanks to Konami, once again, everything is ruined. There's really nothing else to do now. All we have to do is wait until E3, and depending on what happens at E3, you can expect me to come back up and be ecstatic, or you can expect me to come back up here in a few weeks and be absolutely disappointed. I wouldn't hold my breath, because based on what's happening right now, it looks like there's just going to be more disappointment, and this is what is leading to another video game crash. When companies like this piss off the fans this much, and they have such a little problem, they have no problem with what they're doing because they care about their bottom line more than their fans. This is what drives game companies into bankruptcy, and it makes gaming look bad as a whole. Honestly, for the sake of gaming as an industry, I hope I'm wrong. What's up guys? Make sure to check out conservapunk.com, a way to challenge conventions and go against the status quo with the purpose of making something timeless. A way to curse out the ill willers and debaters with a whisper, all with a sense of decorum. Punk for the gentlemen, conservapunk.com. What's up guys? Thanks so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you haven't gotten a chance to already, make sure to check out last week's video which can be found right here. Also, if you haven't gotten a chance to already, make sure to like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter. And while you're at it, make sure to check out the rest of Coed Gaming, where we upload gaming videos every single week. And as always, game on!